and rock. You've got to be able to take it. Your body's got to be able to take it. Because service means new physical demands on strength and endurance. That's why in military training you have to march long distances. Carry heavy loads. Do hard manual labor. Use your body skillfully. Be ready for instant action. Withstand strains and tensions. Live under all conditions. Be prepared for anything and everything. Are you ready physically for this training? Well, when you enter service, ready or not, the physical training begins immediately. And it will go on every day. It's going to be rough and rugged training to toughen you up. If you aren't ready for it, you're going to have more than your share of sore muscles, aching feet, poor endurance, exhaustion, strain, and awkwardness. Yes, it can be tough for you if you aren't ready physically. It can be a lot easier for you if you are. And if you are ready, later it may mean the difference between failure and success. It may even mean saving a life yours or a buddy's. Getting ready physically means beginning right now while you're still in school to get in condition. How do you go about it? First, consider how much time you have to get ready. A freshman has a good four years. He can plan a fairly extensive program for himself. The same for a sophomore. He has a good stretch of time to get in shape. A junior has some time, but not too much. He has to work a little harder than the others. A senior doesn't have much time to get ready, but it can be done if each man takes personal responsibility for his physical condition. The next step is a complete health examination, and we mean complete. Don't be satisfied with just a quick checkup. Eyes, ears, nose, throat, posture, reflexes, abdominal organs, skin, feet. These are some of the most important things to have checked. Above all, your heart and lungs need examination. Have your chest x-rayed. Find out for sure about your health. Don't forget your teeth. Have them examined. Check up on your health and be ready to correct any health problems you have. The third step in your program is to check your physical ability. To help you do this, a set of physical achievement standards has been prepared by the Armed Forces Committee of the American Association for Health physical education and recreation. They're minimum standards. 
that help you check your physical condition. Think how well you would do now on the tests. Here's one of them. Climb a 15-foot rope in 20 seconds or less. Here's another. Do six or more dips on the parallel bars. Can you do six or more chins? At least 45 sit-ups. Broad jump, seven feet or more. Run 300 yards in 42 seconds. Throw a softball, 175 feet. Float for at least two minutes. Swim 40 yards or more. Step off a 10-foot platform with your clothes on. Find out how you measure up to these standards and you'll have a good idea of your present physical ability. Now, you know how much time you have. You know what your general health is. You know what your physical ability is. You're all ready to plan and work for improvement. Have any defects corrected that showed up in your general health exam? If you have them taken care of now, they won't become big troubles in the future. Then work with your physical education teacher to plan your program of physical development. Keep in mind, you need to include ways to build strength. Strength that will be useful in many service jobs. Include activities that develop agility. Agility that will make a lot of the training much easier. Plan activities that will improve your skills. Skills that will be important later when you serve. You'll need activities to build up endurance. Endurance that will help to make your early days of service less painful and more profitable. And be sure to include competitive sports. Sports that will give you the feeling of cooperation and striving to win. Your community, as well as your school, offers many opportunities for a well-rounded program of physical activity. Take part in the full program of your school and your community. Work regular exercise into your daily program so that you'll be on your way to all-around good physical readiness. Something that will help you now and for the rest of your life. Another thing Make it your responsibility to learn about and practice good health habits, such as the right foods to eat to give you plenty of strength and energy, the proper amount of rest you need for your daily activities, the best ways to keep your body clean and free from disease. Make all these things your responsibility now. After you've planned and worked for improvement, take the physical achievement tests again. See how much you've improved over the last time. See how much more skill, strength, and endurance you've developed. How much easier it is to meet the standards of physical readiness. And have the satisfaction of knowing that the physical requirements of service won't be too rough on you. Remember the steps. Consider how much time you have. Check up on your general health. Check up on your physical ability. Then have defects corrected. Plan with your advisors. Take regular workouts. And make good health habits your responsibility. Get into a good all-round sports program that will help you to get in shape now and keep you in good shape always.
good health is a good investment. In service, a lot will depend on your physical readiness. Start now to get ready physically. And when the time comes, you'll take it in your stride.